little child fingers can go in there. It didn't go particularly well. So we think we might have got a bit carried away. Hello everyone, welcome back to another week. Um, so I'm currently in the kitchen because this morning, it's Monday by the way, FYI, we have one of the designer type planner people coming from Rang Kitchens. So I think it was, I'm gonna have a little sit down while we have this discussion. I think it was a couple of vlogs ago that me and Simon went to Wren Kitchens. Um, I don't think we took, no we didn't, we didn't take you guys with us into Wren, we just went and had a look, so we weren't vlogging while we were in there. But it was the first place that we'd gone to have a look at kitchens since deciding that this is a project we need to undertake ASAP. And we also went to Ikea on the same day, but to be honest with you, we weren't very wowed with Ikea. Um, but Wren Kitchens we were quite impressed with. So they, we had a wander around the showroom, had a look at some bits and bobs, sort of saw what is now on offer because we have never actually renovated a kitchen at all. Um, and yeah, it was good. So we booked in one of these people because they said to us, in all fairness to Ren, they were very honest and they did say to us, our measurement service, having a home planner come to your home, is free. And so even if you don't get a kitchen from us, you may as well take advantage of the service. Now, there are a couple of negatives we have experienced with Wren thus far. We obviously booked in this appointment, but as soon as we got home from the store, we had someone call us asking us to book in the in-store appointment. Basically, they've just been really pushy, and since going into the store, we've had about four or five phone calls asking us to go into the store. We've not had anything measured yet so that we can pick out our kitchen and we're not ones for being pressured into buying stuff. So that's sort of a bit of a downside for us. Since then, we've also been to Howden's and Magnet and we've had a look at some other kitchen companies online. Um, and yeah, this is kind of like the next stage. We're just having this measured this morning and I think they have some sort of virtual reality thing where you can see what your kitchen would look like. We've got a full list of all the bits and bobs that we want. It's just a case now of seeing how this can all work in this space. Right, that was the lady from Wren who came to do all the measurements. But we had a little bit of a slight misunderstanding um, because the guy in the Wren showroom told us that when someone comes to do the measurements, they can also like do some planning. Um, so now I feel bad because obviously only a minute ago I was saying to you guys they were really pushy and kept ringing us up to ask us to go into the showroom and book this showroom appointment. Well that's actually where they do the planning. So this guy that informed us when we were in the Lakeside store that we were going to get to do virtual reality in the kitchen when this lady comes, it was wrong. <laughs> so we have just gone online and we've booked our in-store appointment for this afternoon. Um, which is also odd because every time someone's called us they've been like yeah you need to book your in-store appointment because they book up really really quick especially this side of Christmas well we got one for this afternoon and they were free and available for the rest of the week in fact for the rest of the month so hmm, nice try Ren um, so yes we're going to go and do that this afternoon it is now quarter to two our appointment at Ren is at half two so we're going to head off shortly got myself bundled up against the chill. So I'm gonna show you guys this outfit. Start off with the scarf, big camel wool scarf. This is from Hush. This is like just over a year old, um, but I think it's a classic. They tend to bring it out every autumn, winter season. So they've probably still got this. Underneath, hidden away, my Monica Venada Mini Marie pendant and Marks and Spencer's crew neck cashmere, the jeans are straight legs with the raw hem from Topshop. The coat, it's like a maxi coat, it's wool and it's beautiful. That is from Marge, but I bought it at Bista Village. The bag is my Cezanne Gabby bag, and then these boots, hello, are real leather actually, and they are from Pull and Bear. So that's today's kitchen design outfit, if there is such a thing as a kitchen design outfit. We're back from Wren. 
it didn't go particularly well or at least it didn't go as well as we thought it was going to go so now someone is uh doing their own little measuring look at this also can we just quickly before we start can we just have a look at this outfit so we've got this and then this 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 bit is my favorite bit of the outfit anyway sexy legs yes <laughs> let's let's wow this looks professional doesn't it yeah. looks very professional we've got all the catalogs out over here also do you want to have a look at our tape measure your stupid little one show everyone the tape measure oh no serious measuring's going on basically it is a net -a porte tailoring tape measure look at that on brand <laughs> Cause it was expensive at REM, wasn't it? Well, only because I didn't want to give us what we wanted. Yeah, we just found it a little bit limiting and we basically couldn't get the dream kitchen. We have got a 3D thing, so I'll show you guys what that looks like. But we're now trying to figure out our own thing, aren't we? Hello and good morning, everyone. It is now Wednesday and it's quite early. It's half eight in the morning. I'm up, ready, dressed, because I'm going to go see my friend Sue and her little baby. She's not so little anymore, she's now walking. Um, and yeah, just going to have a little catch up this morning, because this afternoon, we obviously went to Wren, when was it, on Monday. But after that experience, we decided that we were going to now look into Howden's. So we've booked a Howden's home visit for today at 2.30. So they're coming at 2.30, I'm going to go see Sue for a few hours this morning, have a little catch up and then we're going to dive straight into the kitchen stuff again. Um, so this is what I have got on. Uh, earrings are probably the usual ones, sorry about the focus, that I've had in for the last couple of weeks. I got a bit lazy with changing my earrings. So those are, the first ones are Aurelia, the second ones are Pilgrim and the last ones are Aurelia. Aurelia do really good reasonably priced huggies if anyone is interested, as do Miss Oma, but I think Aurelia is a little bit cheaper. Um, other jewelry wise, Cartier watch and then this jumper. <gasps> it actually, I've got it sort of half tucked, but it does come down to about that. Isn't it amazing? It's got like a zip here and then it's got this sort of braiding detail and it is so thick and chunky. This is from Iro, which is a Parisian brand um, or French brand. I'm not sure if they are Paris based. I'm sure they probably are. Uh, jeans are Levi's skinnies. They're shaping skinnies, but I can't remember the number. I always forget the number. And then boots are June. Oh, that's special, like June snake skin boots with the little heel. And then over here, got my vintage Chanel backpack, which I just have some of my worldly belongings in. So that is my outfit. Um, actually, just thinking about it, this jumper's probably not the best option because little child fingers can go in there, but we'll see. I am back from seeing baby Elsie and we're snapping into kitchen mode. Um, I've just made myself some lunch, which I'm gonna have because we've got 45 minutes until the guy or girl, maybe, who knows, from Howden's comes. But I've just been having a look at Simon's little plan here. I'm gonna show you what he's done. We've got the brochure ready. He's drawn out his little plan here of kind of what we envisage it looking like. It's very nice. And yeah, we're just gonna wait and see what Howden say, and hopefully our dream kitchen can be achieved. Hello everybody, it is now Thursday. Uh, it's 2 p.m. We have just finished filming our video for Sunday, which you guys would have seen on Sunday. It is about advent calendars. There is competition to win one of those advent calendars, so if you haven't seen it already, go and check that out. I thought you said I won it. You haven't won it, oh, but whose birthday is it today? Birthday glasses boy. On, so I can't see his you thing. can't see a thing, can you? You're like a little mole. Who are we talking to? We're talking to the people. Oh, the people. They're in there. Mm. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Um, 21 today, yeah? <laughs> yeah, what else? Just feel like a 21 year old. 
No chance, you're having a bubble. Um, right, so, plan of action. Whoa, that's really bright over there. Let me <laughs> beep, beep, maneuver back over here. Um, plan of action for today, now that we've finished filming that video. We have just had a speed clean, and we have also had, from the guy that came round from Howden's the other day, which I don't think I remembered to update you guys after he came, because we were so excited. We were like kids in a sweet shop, because he was so nice. Way better than Ren, FYI. Um, really professional, really helpful, told us loads of stuff we didn't know, gave us a little hint um, of where to get some work tops. So we're actually gonna go off in probably about an hour-ish to go and check those out. Um, and yeah, he basically today sent us the 3D sort of virtual reality, but not because you don't wear any goggles, uh, plan of what we've kind of decided for the kitchen. So Simon's got that on his phone, but I might get him to log in on the laptop so that we can show you guys that because it's exciting. Look at him, he's having a look already. You're going to show people. Yeah. Here we go. My design. Your design. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah technically it is your it. design. So this is, look. which way is this looking? Oh, no. so technically our garden is that way, but obviously because they've only got so many design options, they've just put a blank wall in. But we're going to knock that end wall out and put in a big, like, bifolding doors. Maybe. Hopefully. Depending on price. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Depending on budget. Flick to the next picture. Ooh, that's our new ceramic hob. There's a few changes that we're going to make to this because they've only put in an oven, but we want an oven and a microwave on top, both integrated. And also, we're not sure if that's too high, are we? Yeah. Probably too high, but we're going to see. This is what I'm most excited about. It's a huge pull-out larder. Oh! And I'm also, what's that? Is that the bin or is yeah, that the dishwasher? Bin, dishwasher. That's a bin. That's a dishwasher, very excited about that. Means less work for Emma. You chuffed? At the moment. Yeah. Until a disappointment sets in when we get the price. Because we haven't actually told him anything about budget, have we? So we think we might have got a bit carried away. Yeah, so the kitchen will definitely not look like that, probably. <laughs> Okay, just before we head off to go and look at these worktops, work surfaces, whatever you want to call them, uh, I will show you guys what I am wearing. So I've got my berry coloured coat on from Warehouse. This jumper underneath is from H&M. I was wearing that to film the video this morning. I couldn't be bothered to get changed, so I'm going to keep it on. Everlane skinny jeans, June black like snakeskin effect boots and a vintage Chanel backpack. I feel very, um, very sort of winter berry esque in this outfit. Oh, yeah, I like right. this yeah, one. Yeah, we're you guys. Yeah, good. I like um, this one. So and I like this one. Right, we have just got back from the worktop quartz marble place. So they've given us a little. Um, what? What do you want? This is marble. Do you want it? Well, it's not marble, it's quartz. Yeah, nice. Uh, this is the sample they've given us. It's not got much of a pattern on this bit. It did apologise for that, but it's all they had. It gives us a good idea. It's quite bright white and then it's got the grey sort of texture in there as well. Now, onto this. So this arrived this morning whilst we were filming the video and I was dying to open it and then we had to go out and look at these worktops before the place closed. So I know what's in here, but I am dying to open it and see and put them on. <gasps> so I have a grey cashmere jogger set from fig leaves, obviously. These are the joggers. I'm gonna put these on in a minute. Oh my gosh, they look amazing. Oh yes, cashmere is life. So that's those joggers, and they do have a cuffed hem. A cuffed hem, is that right? A cuffed bottom, whatever you would call that. So that is winning. And then the hoodie, let's get this out. It's got like a little tie detail on the side and also on the other side and then it's got the hood up there as well 
<gasps> Amazing. And we've got one more item in the box. And this is probably what I'm most excited about. This is a cashmere robe. And it's in the most gorgeous colour. Sorry guys, it's going dark outside and our lighting in the front room is quite uh, orangey. So you can't really see an accurate colour. So I might have to show you tomorrow morning when I get up and put this on. Um, but it's beautiful. I'd say on me it's probably going to be about sort of three quarter length. Um, but it's stunning and oh my gosh, it's so soft. I cannot wait to wear that. Right, I've got much better light up here in the bedroom and I've just put the jogging suit on. Oh, it's so awesome, look, I've got the hoodie on. I've tied the little ties at the side just to make the hoodie a little bit more ruched. And then the jogging bottoms, which are quite skinny at the bottom. Yes, literally love this, it's so soft so soft hello and good morning everybody it's friday Woohoo! and it is half 12 me and simon are off to meet simon's mum to go have like belated birthday lunch we're going to this little pub that we actually drove past by accident back in the summer and then we kept trying to go back there throughout the summer and every time we went they were just full so we could never go um, so we've actually booked a table we've done the wise thing and booked a table so we're gonna go there and have some grub um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing because I have a very um, cool outfit on oh, I think it's cool ring my own bell hey whatevs uh, so Misoma necklace with the Leo constellation engraved on there and this is the rope chain but everything is always linked down in the description box below if you're finding it tricky to find exactly what I'm wearing um, this coat literally just arrived this morning this is from Jigsaw it's beautiful it's like a grey and charcoal herringbone single breasted very nice I feel well fancy um, underneath M&S cashmere sweater and these are a pair of real leather trousers, like leather jeans, I suppose you could say. And these are from Iro, Iro Paris. Uh, and then the boots, which I've been wearing almost non-stop, are the June snakeskin effect boots from their black range. Cartier watch. Oh, and loads of you guys keep asking where my phone case is from. I've got three like this, but this one is black and gold. Um, I actually bought them off eBay, so again, I'll link those down below. And then bag, Chanel vintage backpack, because I actually couldn't be bothered to change all the bits and bobs that I had in there yesterday. Let's pan back as much as I can. Ta-da! In a bit grim weather-wise, isn't it? Horrible, huh? Yeah, but this is it. This is the little pub. And look, it's a full-on windmill over there. I've ever seen a windmill before, but look, this is what it's called the Cricketers Inn. And where are we in the world? Rotham. Rotham with an R or a W? A W R. A W R. I'm excited. I haven't eaten any breakfast, so I'm getting ready to chow down. I know I had a chicken burger yesterday, but there's no harm in having it two days in a row. Mac and cheese. And look at that, bubble and squeak. You happy with that? Mmm, I'm a bit jealous to be honest. Got a bit of food FOMO. Hello everyone, it's Sunday. It is half six in the evening. We've actually just got back in from having a nice roast dinner with Simon Sarah. Simon Sarah? Technically that is correct. Simon's sister Sarah, her boyfriend Reese, and her friend Jeanette. So it was all very nice. Um, obviously didn't take the camera because we thought we'd just have a nice sort of family orientated afternoon. Um, but I thought I would just show you guys what I wore for the day now before I get changed into my luscious cashmere. So the jumper, it is wool. It's got this rather fetching high neck and this sort of vertical and horizontal stripe detail and also look how long the sleeves are <gasps> my favorite thing ever this is from me and m as are these awesome jogging bottoms kind of went for the whole sort of sports luxe vibe and then my new veja 
trainers these were in my last haul and for anyone wondering about size if you want a little size update I actually decided to keep the 40s because I tried them on again tried the 41s on in our kit and they were massive so have kept the 40s I did use my shoe stretchers which you can see over there on the window just to stretch them out a teeny tiny bit because I literally needed the tiniest smidge um now I'm gonna get changed into my loungewear <sighs> PJ time. Right, I'm in my comfies. Gonna head downstairs. It sounds like Simon is watching some crap on the television. What are you watching? <laughs> UFC fighting crap. Look at that. Can we carry on watching The Sinner, please? Yeah. That's yeah, what we started watching, the next episode of The Sinner. Yes, I fell asleep last night so watching. You know uh, I don't remember, you might have to refresh me. Yeah. I'm just going to show you guys my loungewear before I sign off. Right, now that we've got that crap on mute, I shall show you guys what I've changed into. So I've decided not to wear the cashmere tracksuit because I'm wearing the robe. Um, I've just got on my PJs, which are new. They're just basic ones from H&M. And then I have layered over my new cashmere robe, which is probably my favorite thing right about now. I literally can't wait to get up in the morning so I can put it on. How jealous are you of my cashmere robe? Very. Yes, I know. Right. So, it is the end of the week. We're going to chillax and carry on watching The Sinner. Thank you very much for joining us for this week. And I will catch you guys next week. Bye. Say bye. On the floor. That's it. Bye-bye.